okay guys now today we will be introducing a new head unit and this is for the Hyundai Verna and this is how the head unit looks so basically what we are looking at is right now the head unit and the panel itself so let me just go ahead and uh, delve a little bit deeper into the interface so this is how the interface is all about now this is a very sleek interface that you can all see now let me just go ahead and uh, introduce you to the uh, to the options available what we have over here is the disc option uh, which basically suggests that it has a DVD loader and we can actually go ahead and play various discs on it has a USB option it has a audio video in audio video out uh, it has the SD card functionality it has an iPod functionality which means that you can actually connect your iPod and you can enjoy iPod music on the go your iPod would, would always keep on charging now the center of the uh, the center of the interface itself consists of the most used applications on a car like a radio a navigation and the Bluetooth and the settings of the head unit itself so now let's go ahead and introduce the interfaces one by one uh, if I scroll down a little there are certain more options like uh, the TPMS that's the tire pressure monitoring system that can actually give you an overview of how much air pressure you have inside your tire has an inbuilt browser as well which means that you can actually connect your 3G dongle to this head unit and you can enjoy seamless internet integration on your car itself or rather in your car itself now let's start with a uh, one after the other let's start with the radio interface this is how the radio interface looks basically has uh, five bands all together three dedicated for FM two for AM uh, let's head back to the main interface and check out the other <clears throat> options let's check out the USB option for instance the USB interface this is what the USB interface looks like uh, I've connected a USB with it right now and right now as you can see it's playing my favorite songs and it also has a categoric division of the content so basically I can uh, play videos, music, photos all will be categorized towards the left like right now I'm playing a video and as you can see the clarity of the unit is amazing um, the, the uh, head unit itself has a very good color reproduction now let's go back to the main interface and uh, let's check out the other options uh, let us go ahead and now uh, check out the Bluetooth interface for example uh, let's open up the Bluetooth interface so this is how the Bluetooth interface looks like uh, we can actually go ahead and synchronize our Android or iPhone devices with this and uh, we can expect call synchronization we can expect phone book synchronization music uh, speed dial uh, it also has a basic keypad which enables you to dial numbers from the head unit itself let's head back to the main interface now we'll go to the disk interface rather uh, this is how the disk interface looks uh, again there is a categoric uh, explanation or rather categoric division of the content inside the disk towards the left as you can see it can divide content uh, according to folder wise according to music video and picture wise so right now it's actually trying to read for content on my uh, on my disk over here it's right now playing a DVD as you can see this is a movie that I downloaded yesterday uh, while I was on the go and uh, I'm now playing it on my DVD. Now let's head back to the main interface. Now one last thing, let's go ahead and check out the SD card interface. So again, each and every interface has a categoric division of the content that could possibly be inside. If you, if you have photos you can actually click on photos if you have music you can actually click on music if you have videos you can click on videos anything that you have you don't need to search for anything on your particular on your particular media device uh, one by one everything is organized for you so right now I'm just playing this video again to make you understand how the SD card works so this is pretty much it about this unit thank you guys